hello, hello. Uh, I am glad to have you here and it's a pleasure to make this presentation for you. Uh, first, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Olha. Uh, I am Growth Marketing Manager from Push Push Go. And today uh, I will uh, have this presentation together with uh, Przemysław. Uh, you can introduce yourself if you want. Yeah, sure. Hello. Hello. Uh, greetings to you. My name is Przemysław Alex. I am responsible for global sales and I will share with you some feedback that I'm having from my customers and guide you through the future of the online marketing. Great. So uh, also I want to assure you if you don't have time now to watch this webinar that there will be a recording and we will send you it later. So no problem if you cannot be till the end of the webinar. Also, uh, feel free to write all questions. We will answer all of them at the end. Uh, or you can also contact us uh, in any uh, other time uh, on our emails if you would like. Uh, so um, probably uh, you noticed when you was uh, registering for this webinar that uh, there will be free web push strategy for 10 participants that we will choose uh, randomly. So the idea will be uh, the first 10 persons that will will receive this uh, strategy. I will type in the chat my email. So if you would like to have if you would like to have a free web push strategy, feel free to write me. And the first uh, 10 uh, participants will get it. So make sure you will be the first one. And uh, what else? Uh, before we start, I also would like to make some small introduction about what we are going to talk today. So uh, we will introduce you to Web Push, how to use it, what is this, uh, what are pros and cons of this technology, how you can use Web Push in your business, and how this uh, tool are using other companies in different industries, and also. Uh, you, uh, we will give some recommendation how to create web push notifications that at the end of the webinar you will know do you have uh, other any potential for your business in this technology. Um, so feel free to stay till the end uh, because there will be a lot of interesting insights. Uh, first, also before start, I will turn off my camera uh, to do not connect, uh, do not. Uh, cause any problem with connections and the presentation. So you can see the presentation and everything smoothly. Uh, and we will start. Okay. Shemek? So, sure, I guess uh, the stage is mine. So, ladies and gentlemen, hello guys. I would like to start with the story of the goldfish. Uh, so, have you heard about the attention span of the goldfish? According to the Microsoft search, concentration time of the goldfish is around 9 seconds. At the same time, nowadays attention span of the average human being is 8 seconds, for example. So, just 20 years ago, it was 12 seconds. What does it mean, actually? It means that we have so many distractors that our attention span is lower than the goldfish has. Quite interesting, isn't it? In addition to the short attention span, you will be honest with us, of course. If you are using advertising as a source of revenue, or if you are a marketer relying on outbound marketing, you probably are aware about such problems as the increase of usage of adverts programs as well as banner blinders. For example, according to the 2013 study made by Infolix, 86% of the customers suffer from banner blindness. Times are changing, so people do. That's why Facebook in order to protect mindful relationship with its members, tries desperately to change new feeds, algorithms, and of course, not in favor of the companies. 
all of the above problems require a new kind of approach. Web push can be one of the possible solutions. So, okay. Web push is a permission based marketing that enables to send short messages directly to the user's desktops, even if he or she uh, are browsing a competitor's web pages. Less than two seconds, it needs to subscribe on it. The space for text is very limited, and your main message should be just in one sentence. This ensures that it will be ready by recipient. And it will be read. Hello? It will be read by recipient. Perfect. So it is impossible to ignore as it is displayed directly on the desktop. And any adverts can affect web push notifications. It doesn't collect any personal data. That means it doesn't collect any personal data. And it is GDPR friendly tool, let me say, or compliant tool according to the European law. So, it also enables to track subscribers' behavior on the sites and consequently send highly targeted notifications. Uh, that is a huge added value, of course, for the marketers. No matter what kind of device, web pushes can be shown on all devices uh, because this is a tool web, or, uh, web browser oriented, while mobile applications and app notifications works only on mobile devices. That means that web pushes cover a larger audience. It is about 42% uh, of the internet time is spent on the desktops. You should have it in mind. Uh, better opt-in rates. When opt-in to the web pushes, users don't need to give up any personal information, which is like, uh, so there is no email, Data, there are no phone numbers and no other individual data that's connecting with the GDPR case. As opposed to email and SMS channels, these low barriers naturally leads to the better opt-in rates, of course. And it has also better CTRs, you should have it in mind, that the CTR on average, uh, let me say, between 5 to 30 percent of web pushes is comparable to mobile one, is much higher, much, much higher than with email one, like up to 3%. Here are some examples how subscription made uh, is made. It can be one opt-in or double opt-in. That depends actually on the method of, of subscription uh, regarding the uh, integration with your own domain or in, uh, just a simple manual integration. And here we are, uh, have some more examples of subscription forms from some uh, Polish sites. I would like to pay your attention on the sign up form uh, with preferences by a Polish online news site, which is called Onet. So, as you see, the subscription form can be simply allow or don't allow, don't allow or deny, or, or give you an opportunity which kind of information the subscriber would like to receive. Here you can see an option for subscribe for, like the news, sport news, weather forecast, business, lifestyle, culture, or summary of the day. Our next slide the web push notification code. Uh, you can see how web push notifications is like uh, within its main elements. Among mandatory elements are title, of course, of your notification, body, and small icon. Additionally, you can add link to the web page where the user will go after clicking. It's like a landing page, you can call it. Uh, after clicking into the message big image as well as action buttons. In this specific example, you can see a so-called rich push. It is a notification with a big image. Uh, that is supported only by Google Chrome browser, actually. 
And depending on the browser, web push notification looks uh, differently. There is a, there is a, there are small differences actually. Unfortunately, we have no influence influence on this. Uh, but while preparing your campaign, you can preview how it will look like in the different kinds of the browsers, of course. Web push notification is quite new technology, let me say. However, technology is changing very, very fast. Uh, so uh, the very first web push was created by uh, BlackBerry, uh, but only about 10 years ago. It started to gain popularity on the market. Firstly, mobile push notification was implemented by a well-known brand, which is called Apple, then Android. And the real boom happened just in the year 2015, when Google Chrome and Facebook, those two giants, started to support these small notifications and this kind of the technology. Nowadays, web push is supported by almost all browsers on all devices, and it covers more than 80% of internet users worldwide. This is a big, big number, actually. So it is uh, like a more than 3 billion people to reach. We can think about the potential of this uh, technology for reaching 3 billion people. Come into the web push uh, and uh, it will convince you and your boss. So, now web push finds application in more and more industries, actually. Uh, however, still e-commerce, publishing and travel industries remain the biggest group of the users of this technology. Subscription rate, uh, we should have it in mind also, that is between let's say 5 to up to 8 percent. Uh, what does it mean? So let's, let's have an example. Uh, if your monthly traffic on your website is uh, around 100,000 of the unit users, uh, this is important, unit users, so not in commerce, uh, you can have around 5 to 8,000 subscribers just in one month. It's only one month to collect this number. 5 to 8 percent. Moreover, every invested dollar, very, very important, in web push technology, according to the studies, brings you 3.5 dollar in the return. The return is like a 3.5. Web push technology also has a number of advantages over a newsletter. Due to a limited space and simple structure, preparation time is basically less than five minutes. Uh, it is just uh, five minutes to prepare uh, the push. While for newsletter, open rate is between 15 and 30% new rate of web push even reaches 90%. As a result of that, CTR for web push is almost 10 times higher than for a newsletter. Repeating that one, 10 times higher than for a newsletter. Also, newsletter has significantly lower return on investment rate. Moreover, it is not rare the situation when the newsletter gets to the spam box, that we are aware of it, all of us, or promotion staff. That makes your message very easy to be ignored and unnoticed. With web push notifications, there are no such a kind of thing. Right examples of the proven effectiveness of web push technologies are the following companies. Tracking, the company name, is leading Indian news platform with over 1 million monthly visitors coming there. Only in six months, they reached even a higher number of the subscribers that they have collected for newsletters during the last four years. So let us get back to what Arun, the founder of the tracking, said. Web notifications are a great way to engage users. 
it is probably the first one communication tool between publisher and the reader. That's what Aaron, Aaron is saying. The second example is sport.pl. Sport it is the largest sport service in Poland with over 30 million monthly visitors. This March, the company has announced about the resignation from the newsletter in favor of more dynamic communication tool and web push is one of the most important tools that helps to deliver information to their readers. So, what exactly web push notification allows us to do? This is the question, right? There are two types of the campaigns that can be managed. One is the manual and the second one is automated. We call it manual scenario and automated scenario. Automated campaigns have much higher average CTR due to its precise targeting that depends on users' actions and their preferences. Coming forward, now Olha will provide you more detailed information about differences in manual and automated campaigns. We will show you how also, real examples how campaigns have implemented this technology into their daily operations and their marketing activities, of course. So, all of the stage is yours. Thank you, Przemek. So, I will continue with manual campaigns. Uh, first, I would like to uh, introduce you what is manual campaign. Probably the name ta tells you everything about uh, what is it. It's a single uh, campaign that you create manually and send it immediately or schedule for a specific day and time. Uh, manual campaigns can be mass campaigns that you send to all of your subscribers or targeted. Uh, it is a campaign that is sent to the chosen group of subscribers. Actually, you can use manual campaigns for any purpose. Uh, here on this slide, you can see a few ideas how you can use it. It is to distribute content, to remind about newsletter, to offer materials that your subscribers can download, to conduct surveys, uh, you can monetize it also, or increase number of paid subscriptions. Now I want to tell you more uh, details about uh, each type of uh, these campaigns and uh, show you some examples. So first of all, uh, it is uh, content distribution. Via the push, you can uh, inform about new publications on your site. Here, by sending push notifications with relevant and interesting content, you'll increase chances the subscriber clicks on it and will not unsubscribe because of an important information you might pollute him with. To be able uh, to send customized web push campaigns, you should target it according to um, behavior of your subscriber on the website. For example, products, sections, or topics the subscriber visited uh, or in, is interested in. And uh, probably you would agree with me that the person that always reads finance news on your site would be not happy if you would, st if you would start to send him notifications with the latest Hollywood gossips. So, if you work in marketing, you probably uh, know who is Neil Patel. Uh, here you can see he is using how he is using web push notification to uh, distribute his content uh, on the first uh, uh, on the first column. Also, you can create urgency by highlighting the latest news and deliver it directly to user's desktop just in a few minutes. Uh, it's not a secret that breaking news relevance is very limited in time. For every news media resource, it's very important to be the first source of information for its readers in order to save their loyalty and trust. After all, who wants to be the last one who reveals the news to, to their followers? On the slide, you can see how Washington Post and one of the Polish news resources um, WPPO use the push to inform about very important news. Another idea is to send everyday updates about weather, exchange rates, sports score, and so on. 
uh, in this case, Preference Center can be a great addition to this type of web push campaigns. Uh, Przemyslav was showing you uh, on the first slides how this subscription form can look like on the example of Polish uh, website on it. So you can check it after in the recording. Uh, it allows a person to subscribe only to those notifications topics of which are of the great interest. For example, somebody prefers to get pushes with sport news or currency rate, but is not interested in a horoscope. Another way to use web push notifications is to send notifications about newsletter in the subscriber's inbox. Sometimes it's very hard to fit in very limited space of web push message uh, all the information uh, you would like to share with your readers. Uh, thus, combination of web push and newsletter can create synergy and uh, straighten your marketing strategy. Um, and the last, people always like to receive something for free. So you can offer downloadable materials such as presentations, ebooks, white papers, checklists for your subscribers. If you work in B2B business, you can collect leads by automating such campaigns. We will talk more detail, uh, more in more details about web push automation later, but here is just an example how you can use it. For example, a uh, web push notification uh, with a proposition to get a checklist might be sent to the subscriber after one minute he entered your website. You can set up the delay time of this automation uh, up to your needs. Later, um, we'll talk more about this. Next, um, let's move to uh, the next uh, idea and examples. Web push allows you to know your readers closer. Uh, you can ask them questions about their preferences or even involve them in choosing a topic of your next article, for example. The more you know about your audience, the more accurate content you can offer them uh, and deliver. On the other hand, uh, asking people about their feedback uh, on an idea can make them feel more important and build trust for um, and build trusted relationships actually. Uh, there was an interesting research made by uh, one social psychologist, Robert Cialdini. Uh, he said that giving a value for somebody's opinion by asking them for advice uh, can affect them like you more. So who said you cannot implement this rule in the communication with your subscribers via web push notifications? Also, by using this type of um, notifications, you can send a subscriber to the page with a survey, or if it is uh, just one question with uh, alternatives to choose, you can collect answers directly through the web push, like for example, in this example that uh, you see on the slide. Uh, it's, it is good because when uh, the subscriber receives it, it, uh, it makes him uh, think already on the answer and not like, do I want to click or not? He already thinks, uh, okay, so what I prefer, I prefer to cook at home or I prefer to go and eat out. Uh, so it's already uh, increases chances. The subscriber will participate and give his feedback or to your questions. After building a database, you can consider selling space for advertisers if it is relevant for your business. The audience is highly targeted and as a result, the efficiency of such campaigns is huge, uh, as well as the received number of authentic interactions. However, I advise you to plan everything carefully. Choose only relevant brands and do not send notifications with advertisement too often. Nobody likes spammers and we know it. The last but not least, it is to use web push to increase the number of paid subscriptions to your blog or news resource, for example. You can use web push uh, to send promo codes to encourage users to subscribe to the paid content or promote other social media channels via uh, web push notifications like Mailpate is doing. Uh, you can see the example uh, in the last column of his notification. Now, before we move to web push automation, I would like to share with you an impressive statistics. On every $92 spent on generating traffic to the website, only one goes on converting those traffic into customers. 
As a result, only 22% of companies are satisfied with their conversion rate, what is actually not a surprise. That's why it's really important to focus on improving the user experience on your site that will help to turn those prospects into customers. A lot of factors can influence on this. However, fast and effective actions in the response of users' behavior on the web page is a real competitive advantage for you. Uh, there was a research uh, made by Salesforce, uh, uh, and they found out that 62% of consumers expect companies to send personalized offers or discounts, and web push automation in this case can be uh, your competitive advantage and fulfill this need. So, how does web push automation work? Um, on the example of e-commerce store, if, you, if the user enters your website, uh, buy, for example, a t-shirt, a few days after, he can get automatically a web push uh, asking him, hey, are you satisfied with the purchase experience in our store? So in this case, we're using this type of uh, web push automation that I was showing you before with uh, two alternatives to choose. And he can uh, choose yes or no. It is just a simple example, but it shows you how you can get customers' feedback with the help of web push automation. And also, it's personalized. Um, and it gives a higher CTR uh, at the end. But of course, in order to be able to use automation, firstly, we need to track users' actions to tag them with their uh, appropriate text and after target with uh, the right message. So what kind of uh, subscribers' actions we can track and tag? First of all, it's categories or even particular products that the person visited since the time he's your subscriber, or categories that were visited during the last 30 days, for example. If the subscriber visited uh, your online bookstore and checked some criminal books, he will be assigned with that tag, and if he left your shop without making a purchase, he will receive an automatic web push encouraging to buy one of the sellers in the category of criminal books. This significantly increases chances that this person will really return back to your website and complete this purchase. Besides tracking which pages and subpages user visited, you can also see on which moment of the purchase path user stopped or quite the site. For example, uh, somebody added shoes to the cart but didn't go further. At the same time, another person could add item to the cart, fulfill the information, but didn't pay. A level of decisiveness uh, of these two persons can be different, and uh, these both variants will require different uh, web push notifications with different content. Uh, what else you can track? Buttons the user clicked on the site. Add to the card, pay, add to the wish list, subscribe to this letter, uh, what he fulfilled in the search form, and so on. It could give you some additional uh, insights about your subscribers, uh, what they are looking on your site, and maybe uh, improve uh, your offer. It's also possible to send an automated campaign according to the collected information about purchase. The value of the basket, number of items in the card. For example, uh, if the subscriber uh, subscriber can get an automated campaign uh, encouraging to increase the value of the basket, uh, complete a purchase on the sum above one hundred dollar, and get free shipping. Hmm, maybe he can uh, think that it's very attractive propositions and really add one more item to his card and uh, increase his check in your store. Um, next, um, you can collect data about the day of the last visit, number of visits within the last seven days, visited subpages, and so on. All of this allows you to build uh, an advanced scenarios of web push automation. Uh, all the information you collect, uh, you can use to create those scenarios. And here are some of the most popular scenarios. They are widely used for e-commerce. Uh, but, of course, you can use some ideas for uh, your business if you have uh, a publishing uh, site or you are a travel company uh, and so on. 
So it's like abandoned cart, recent leave your item, discount codes, um, increase engagement with your audience, you must have this, and XML feed. I will uh, tell more details about each of it in the next slides. So uh, here I would like to show you some uh, real market examples, how these web automation scenarios were implemented by different companies. Um, decrease the number of abandoned cars probably is one of the most important goals for every e-commerce business. According to this scenario, the push notification will be sent automatically to the person uh, after he or she abandons the card. Uh, and all of us know that uh, about 70% of all cars are abandoned. That is a huge amount and um, it's a lot of money for every store. It's important to take into account that um, during uh, the time during which your system saves cards uh, and accordingly set up the delay time for your notification. An average CTR for these scenarios you see is 20% and is pretty high. The next scenario is recently viewed item or piece of content can be. It works well if you would like to bring customer back to your site. For example, when I checked uh, dresses with flowers in this online store, after a few days, I received a push with a, uh, with a proposition to check dresses with flowers with a discount of 60%. Sounds seductive, yes. Um, also, you can use a push to deliver discount codes for shopping. In this way, you can avoid the most loyal customers that already made some purchases in your store. Uh, and scenario, it has very high click-through rate. Uh, the next way to use the push automation is to re-engage with your audience. Send notifications about sales or any attractive offers or uh, content the subscriber can be interested in. Um, you must have it. It's according to this scenario, the push is sent when the subscriber enters your site. Uh, you can inform him about the most hot, the hottest and most popular offers on your site, in your store. Or for example, if there is an article, uh, you can send him, um, check out this article, 20 people are reading it right now. Uh, so you can increase the popularity of some uh, pieces of content or um, some special uh, products on your website. XML feed is a very interesting scenario. It's one of the most effective uh, web push automation scenario, actually. Um, an average CTR reaches even 26%. This scenario allows to send you a notification with a photo of a particular product that the customer was shaking, and automatically you can also notify when the product uh, the, uh, the customer was interested in is going to run out of stock, and in this, in this way, motivate him to take his decision faster. After all these examples, you might have a logical question. How you can create the push that people will click? In order to receive high CTR, we outline things in common of the most effective web push campaigns and created a BCDE rule, which includes audience, benefit, content, direct, and engagement. So it's very easy to remember it. So when you are creating your web push campaign, you need to ask yourself some questions. The first of all, is a message interesting for everyone or a certain group of recipients? As I talked before, you can target your uh, web push campaign to a specific group of subscribers from a specific country, from a specific uh, city, or depending on what they visited on your site. So make sure you send appropriate message to appropriate group of audience. Benefit. Is the recipient getting valuable content uh, is it interesting for them? Uh, does it bring any value for your customer or subscriber? If so, okay, you can send it. If not, maybe it's not uh, the best decision to send this message. Uh, next is, you need to ask, is the content of the notification is attractive and interesting enough? Make sure your graphic, your text uh, is, uh, is visible properly in your message. Very often I receive uh, web push notifications that with a cut of images or uh, with, image, with images in better resolutions 
or the text is not uh, completely visible. Make sure it is uh, everything looks great because it's your first impression and people can unsubscribe of your notifications. Then uh, does the notification direct the recipients to a place that is uh, consistent with the expectations. Make sure that if you include action buttons, they lead to the appropriate page. Uh, because if you would include the wrong uh, link, or if your message uh, will send one uh, thing, but the link will uh, link to another web page, they will get angry, and it's also uh, very easy to, to make them unsubscribe. And engagement. Ask yourself, first of all, would you click in this notification? Uh, is it interesting enough? Uh, is, does it sound uh, intriguing, maybe, uh, or attractive for the customers? If you answered all these questions, you can uh, send your campaign and uh, after track the results. Now I would like to say some general few more additional recommendations so you didn't have this situation as you see on these pictures below. Um, don't overdo it. Do not send notifications too often. It's a great way to reach your customers. Uh, notifications, web push notifications are delivered directly to a desktop. That's why if you do it too often, it can be very irritated if the person is doing something on his laptop, but uh, you send them and notifications like 10 times a day and he needs to close it every time. Uh, it's really, uh, it really can irritate as a person. Um, of course, it depends on the type of your business, but we found such uh, statistics that uh, two uh, to five notifications in one week can cause 46 respondents uh, to disable notifications. So, um, of course, if there is something urgent and you're a news resource, uh, sometimes you need to send more often uh, to inform, uh, like, to inform your uh, readers what is happening right now. But if you're an e-commerce store and you will send uh, 10 notifications per day with uh, discounts that the user is not interested because he, for example, already did a purchase in your store and already bought that shoes or something like that, and you continue to send him um, discounts, it may not work and just uh, make him angry. And then be relevant. Uh, as I said, segment your audience by, uh, based on their interest and use a prop text uh, to send this message. Um, next, be timely. Uh, if you send notifications for um, you, uh, for customers that live in different time zones, um, make sure you use geotargeting uh, in order to not get into blacklist of your subscriber. Um, it will help you to avoid such problem uh, as you can see on the picture. The right person, right message, but wrong time. Probably you something missed out here. And um, be creative. Don't be afraid to make experience, uh, experiments. Something great might come out at the end. And to finish my presentation, I would like with some inspirational example, which I really liked personally, made by uh, The Guardian. Probably all of you know this uh, news uh, resource. Uh, the experiment was to send a series of notifications immediately following the publication of The Guardian's article about the jobs report, sending an initial notifications with the, deadline, uh, with the headline of uh, the jobs report was followed um, with the provocation. Like, uh, now do you want to, go, uh, to have good news or bad news first? And users were offered the opportunity to interact with two action buttons, good news with a thumbs up emoji or bad news with a thumbs down emoji. Users uh, were then taken through of the series of six notifications in order uh, of which actions they chose. After all of the good news notifications were seen, only bad news was offered and the other way around, for example. Uh, upon getting to the end uh, of notification series, the user was prompt to read the full article or take a survey on their experience. 
uh, on from my point of view, this experience made old school notifications very enjoyable and interactive for readers. Uh, such gamification significantly increased their CTR and engagement with the content and also helped to achieve um, their goal. So uh, their subscribers interact with the content and read uh, everything they prepared for them. So now we uh, will we, we'll finish our presentation and uh, if you would have any questions, feel free to, uh, to write me. You also have my email. Um, I will check uh, how many people wrote us and uh, the first 10 uh, will get a um, uh, free web push strategy. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot do more, but uh, who was the first one is the luckiest. Mm. But uh, don't, if you have uh, any questions, feel free to uh, contact me via email. If I don't know the answer, I will find the person who knows. Uh, uh, so um, take care and hope to see you soon. <laughs>